You know, we all have mistakes and sin in our lives. So let's just get that right out there from the start. And none of us are living a life of perfection, whether we identify as a Christian or not. So just so anyone watching this understands, we are all inclined to mess up. That's a fact. But from time to time, we may be tempted to willingly choose wrong over right. We may find it easy to choose the small, seemingly insignificant wrongs because we feel like we choose right so often that it doesn't really matter. It can be a little bit like a point system. And we, and we do it in some other aspects of our lives. We think, I can eat this pack of zingers and just run an extra half mile tonight. Maybe that's just me. But we try to accept our wrongs by offsetting them with our rights. Now one day, I had a glass of milk. A little while after the milk was gone, I decided to get a glass of water. Now, without rinsing my glass, I filled it with water. Now, one would think that the tiny little bit of milk that was in the glass wouldn't make a difference with all that water, right? But it did. Not only could I see it, I could taste it. A minor, minuscule amount of milk, a drop, clouded the entire glass in both look and taste. Even if we could have filled a bucket with water and a drop of milk, there is still milk in there. It may thin it out where there's more water added, but it's still present. No amount of addition can result in subtraction. This is what we have to understand about the issue of trying to overcome a little bit of bad with good in some sort of mathematically compounded formula. It's sort of like extinguishing fire with water. The, uh, the fire may be controlled by water, but the damage from the fire is irreversible. Fire leaves a scar no amount of water can ever wash away. Now, additionally, like a little bit of milk and a lot of water, our choices to do wrong can cloud all of the right we do anyway. Something to pray about, don't you think? Exploring the elements of faith can be a lifelong pursuit. Knowing what questions to ask can be the hard part. If you like what you saw here in this video, be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube or like and follow on my Facebook page. My goal is to have a new video uploaded every week. More importantly, I'd love to hear from you. Share your thoughts with me about what the video means to you, or if you have a faith question or video suggestion, send me a message about it. I'm not going to tell you that I have all the answers, but I seriously enjoy the exploration process, and especially with others. In addition to YouTube and Facebook, you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram, or my written blog on Tumblr by searching at Rev Chris Hall. Please feel free to share this video if you think someone else could benefit from it, and thanks for watching.